Well, it's been fucking long as hell. I need, I need, I need, I need, I need. Bitches, my love, my fam, my girlies, my little bitches. I love y'all. Give me a hug. I'm in I just can't believe I'm back in this bitch with a full smile on my face, a full glow going bitch, yee. As y'all see, I'm still very much so ratchet. And as y'all might know, I still smoke that shit. I still smoke, I still smoke that weed, you know what I'm saying? What have I been smoking? I've been smoking on some J's, on some entourage, you know what I'm saying? On some wood. But I've been good, thanks for asking. I'll get to that later. I'ma talk about basically the journey that I've been on, but Ever since that relationship, I've been on a journey, another spiritual journey, like a part two to my journey. Like this one being chapters clearly of finding myself, finding that, wow, like I love differently. I feel differently. I'm just a very unique human being and discovering that I can't react to things the same way. So why I'm talking about fuck boys, fuck niggas, fuck buddies, fuck you, fuck this, fuck that, fuck me, fuck you. I'm talking about fuck people basically because they taught me a lesson like i've been doing a lot of fuck people but let's talk like let's talk it's been a long ass time y'all haven't seen my face i know y'all worried like it's just been good that she died i ain't dead i've been high my guys first things first like i'm the realest and second of all i'm just zooming i can't zoom in all right because this is a phone camera I the fuck i thought bitch you can't zoom in i like to be like it was my lesson to learn i had to go through that shit to learn my lesson so i went through my whole phase and I was at first like, oh my God, I'm gonna be a hoe, blah, blah, blah. I know it won't eat me up. I know I won't want to still be a hoe. Cause I just knew somewhere in my essence, hey. it's not of me to want to talk or deal with multiple people at once. I can barely deal with my goddamn self. Fuck you mean dealing with this dude and this dude and this dude and this dude. Ha ha ha, no bitch. Like, being a hoe meaning like, yeah, I like you, I'll talk to you, but I don't really feel you like that type shit. That was a good thing for my self, like hair, like self esteem. I was even in the gutter. Like, I had no self-esteem. I, I would look in the mirror like, bitch, why are you breathing? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I hated myself. I would, I, I meant to using people, but I also feel like that's why we're here. Like, <laughs> nigga, you came because you know, and I came because I know. But I got over that because I was just like, after a while, pointless sex is terrible. After a while, pointless social interaction with the opposite sex is okay. Bitch, I'm talking and listen, Jeremiah, you're too loud. But <laughs> pointless sex and pointless interactions with people, it hurts me more than I thought it would. It's just annoying because, like, I want to talk to somebody that I have a connection with, that I can talk to, like, they're my best friend, that I hadn't always have something to say to. It's not funny to play people, but I basically dated some dude. Well, I talked to some dude, right? And I'm just calling What's His Face. And What's His Face hit me up, and we were talking. And he's like, yeah, you should come see me, whatever. Okay. So yeah, so we were texting. I went to go see him. It got we, we got down to doing what we had to do, and he was like, I love you, and I was like, Why are you running? Why are you running? <clears throat> you said love, like L O B E. Boy, you better. Dude, I was just like, dude, how the fuck do you love anybody? I, I barely know you like that. We don't love each other. We don't love you both for it. I told y'all, we know why we both are here. <laughs> like, no, don't even do that. Like, don't even do that. He dead ass told me that, and I was like, oh, God. Oh, fuck. Like, what what did I do? I've made somebody's son fall in love with me, and I don't even fucking want them. <laughs> like, oops. Ho face. Um... I basically told him, nope, sorry, you can't love me. I told him, like, you're not allowed to love me. <laughs> and he was like, what do you mean? He was like, uh, you can't love me. Like, I'm not letting you love me because you're bugging. Like, you just, you're, when you have sex with somebody, you're exchanging energy. Like, it's in your brain. You want drugs, nigga. You don't love me. <laughs> <laughs> I learned if you can't talk about sex, you shouldn't be having it. It's awkward for me to talk about sex, but sometimes I'm just like, He told me that, and I was just looking at him backwards, sideways, just like, this, this is not, no, this is not the wave. 
So I fall back, you know, because I'm not ready to love nobody. I dead eyes just got a two year relationship on some bullfuckery. Like, I'm tired. Mostly, I'm distressed. I'm in pain. I'm not even in good mental health to be dating nobody, really. But I'm hurt. Like, I did some shit because I was hurt. Like, I do that shit a lot. I shouldn't do it. <laughs> but when I get hurt, I do some dumb shit. Like, fuck with somebody that is not my boyfriend. Don't really want you to be my boyfriend. But you're just exactly what you are supposed to be. Like, you use your body. Like, that's it. I just knew, I don't care how attractive you are, like, with me, like, I don't give a fuck what you look like, I don't care how attractive or sexy you are, if you, I feel like you ain't gonna treat me right, or I feel like you playing with me, or you have the potential to be a player, I don't fuck and play, like, I don't play your game, you play mine, okay? <laughs> that I try to, like, get me to be head over heels over him, I'm like, I don't, this could be a one-time exchange for all I give a fuck, I'm hurt, I'm going through my emotions, I don't know what's up or down, my nigga, like, I don't give a fuck, like, I'm numb, I'm numb, like, I don't feel nothing, like, and he dead ass was just, trying to just fucking cuff me make me his girl for a minute and i did i just kept saying no 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 he's like you probably talking to other dudes you probably talking to other dudes and i was just like you probably talking to other bitches but i'd never asked you because i don't give a fuck like <laughs> you know what i'm saying like it's not about talking to other people i don't care <sighs> then i fell back and i realized okay i'm gonna just give him a chance because after a period of time passed by we started hanging out doing the same thing we always do and i was like okay i like you like you, you cool we could date we could see how it goes but i don't expect us to last whatever some casual dating shit you know casual dates and then like we fucking come to a point where i'm dropping my hose and this nigga's still on his phone doing the you know when you Guys, is, first of all, niggas, we know when you're on your phone doing something suspicious. I'm not stupid. I was not born yesterday because that's what the fuck I be doing when I'm on my mom. It smells so good. That's what I be doing when I was on my. Oh, I'm so I'm so oh. Yeah, like, I'm not stupid. Like, I know you're on your phone doing that dumb shit. Like, the fuck? You ain't gonna play me. I'll try again. Ho face. Dead ass. I go on this nigga's phone one day because he got me fucked up. I told him, when your friends leave, I'm going to talk to you. I talked to him. I asked him, like, I dropped my hose at one point, but I picked him back up because I was, I'm hella honest like that. Like, if I have hose in front of the people, you ask me, I'm not going to be like, no. Nah. I'm going to be like, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Is that what we're doing? Because, like, I know you ain't loyal. Like, I'll be loyal if you loyal, but I ain't going to be loyal if you ain't loyal. Like, like, what the fuck you doing? Niggas need to stop doing that shit. Like, stop acting expecting a girl to be loyal while you cheat. That's not going to happen. Not today, not tomorrow, not in this damn century, not with a generation of women. Like, we're like, no. This does not equal this. Loyalty equals loyalty. Unloyalty does not equal loyalty. That's fucked up. And that's exactly why I cannot stand this nigga. He wanted me to be loyal to him while he cheated on me. You got me fucked up. Like, I was like, no. No. I don't even got time to be nice to a nigga that's cheating on me. The fuck? <laughs> like, I started being hella mean to him. Like, mean. Like, I'm a Gemini. Gem Manai. One fucking side and another fucking side. It's like the two polar opposites. Black and fucking white. When I realized, like, he's still playing his games, he started saying shit like, you like my hair? I was like, your hair line fucked up. I just stopped being nice after a while because I'm like, the fuck I gotta be nice to you for? You, like, you want, like, you, you pissing me off with this loyalty and unloyalty shit. Oh my god, all girls are the same. No, you're a fuckboy. You're a fuckboy. You think all girls are the same because you, they get treated all the same by you. Like, no, you're a fuckboy. I saw him exactly for what he was the moment I walked into his damn house. You're a fuckboy. You're gonna try to do some fuckboy shit to me, but I'm not gonna let you. <laughs> like, you ain't gonna play me. My whole face definitely taught me that, like, you can be in pain. And you could try to use something to distract you from your pain, but your pain is always going to be there. You should really try to address it before you try to put something on top of it. That's what I learned. And then, um, I learned that no nigga's going to play me because I really am a smart ass bitch. Also, I learned that if you cheat on me, I'm not going to be as hurt by it as I thought. Like, I thought if I get cheated on, I'm going to be like, oh my god, no, 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 no. Cheat on me after, like, years, I might be like that. But still, even if you cheat on me after five years of marriage, even if you cheat on me after years of knowing you, I realize that I'm a bounce back because that's the type of person I am. You cheat on me. Time to go to the club. Time to get cute. Come out to fucking cheat on you right back. Like, guys need to stop asking like women aren't capable. Stop acting like we can't do the things that y'all do. For real. Like, that's the whole movement of this whole new age women movement of cheating on niggas back and niggas hating us for it. God can hate on us for it. But if you were loyal, women would be loyal to you right to back. You want to come home and be a boring ass couple together and just do boring shit together? I can do that to you right back. Like, it's easy to be loyal. Being loyal is easy as fuck for me. Some women, I can't talk for everyone because I've heard some stories on this dating life I've been on. I've heard some stories from other dudes of the shit that women have done to them. 
women are trifling. Like, women were drag a dude. Like, I like you sometimes on the blue moon. Come here, give me dick. Never mind, stay away from me. Like, yeah, that's what being a hoe kind of taught me. Taught me to be kind of smarter and reading signs. And I know why I'm being lied to. That's another thing. Like, you can't really lie to me. Like, there's no point in lying to me. I know. I just fucking know when someone's lying to me. Because things don't add up. Like, your body language with how you said it to me doesn't add up. Your response to when I asked you doesn't add up. Like, I peep such small things lying to me. You're stupid. I ain't stupid. That's one thing my fuckboy hated the most. That he would try to lie to me. I'm just like, okay, whatever. Like, after a while, I'll stop begging him to tell me the truth. Because I know he wasn't going to tell me the truth because he's pussy. You know? But I, I kept asking him to tell the truth and he wouldn't. And I was just like, all right. I just I, start, I just walked. I was like, all right, no, you're going to lie. You're going to lie. I'm going I'm to I'm lie too. Then you both liars. And I, like, I don't like to lie. But the fact that you were never telling me the truth. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I, I was moving. Anyway. But you're going to lie to me? fine but don't get mad when i lie to you back i'm over it though like for real like it's good like if he never talks to me again i'm good that's the best part about having my whole face i don't completely give a fuck about these niggas i never really can like so it's good like when you know that you're always gonna have one foot in on everything you never really are get hurt <laughs> like that's why i feel like i learned it's bad. The thing I learned are bad, though, but I learned by being a hoe how men are hoes. Like, I had to step into the hoe game to see what the fuck all these people were talking about. I'm like, damn. So that's what y'all do? Damn. Like, y'all really be straightening up, like, lying to people. So now when I'm being lied to in that way by a hoe-ass nigga, I did ask another line. So I'm like, I did that shit. On a serious note, be loyal to people. Loyalty is so important. 21 Savage said, he was like, I want to, you to be loyal to me instead of love me, because anyone can love you. You can love somebody and still hurt them, which is very fucking true. Like, I love you, but you can hurt people you love. Like, we hurt our family, our family hurts us. Like, in relationships, we hurt each other sometimes. It's true, proof. Like, we can love each other and still do each other dirty. He said, I want loyalty, because loyalty means you're gonna ride for me no matter what. You can be fucking loyal to me and still, like, hate me, you know? You can get loyalty from anywhere. You can hate somebody to be loyal to them, though. Like, I hate my fucking boss's ass. He's a piece of shit. But I'm gonna be loyal to him because he got my fucking check. You know what I'm saying? I thought about that shit in a whole nother way. I was like, damn, you're right, though. Like, loyalty is way more valuable sometimes than love. Like, sometimes, like, I would think I don't love somebody because, like, I'm yelling at them or they're pissing me off and stuff like that. That's what this fuck boy taught me. Like, this is some real shit. Like, I liked him a lot more than I realized I did because I kept coming back to him. What he taught me was like, I am being loyal to you, but don't mean I love you type shit. But I don't gotta be loyal to you. And what I learned is that he, yeah, he'll piss me off. The reason why I stayed him with him, dealing with him, because he had, did have potential. I was just like, the reason why I'm staying is because I know that I can still potentially still have strong, loving feelings for you, despite the fact that you're pissing me off all the time because I just know that love is just more than just getting along and boo loving all the time love is tough love is a journey love is hard you do shit that you hate doing because you love somebody period point blank so my goal for dating is to find somebody that i could want to do that shit for poor fuck people try to play kayla i played all of the masses like i was checking off i was like you know it's a game i'm competitive like i was like hold on this is a this is a game like being a player being a hoe is a game and i love games i'm hella competitive so i was just like all right bitch you don't want to text me back today see you next week ho i was like okay nigga you want to fucking look at that bitch's ass when i'm right next to you well that nigga over there looking fine let me go over there and smile oh <laughs> well, oh you think my friend is cute my nigga well i was even paying attention to your nigga sitting over there but now suddenly when he got to pass me the blood i'm gonna touch his hand by accident bitch <laughs> <laughs> oh shit i almost fell out my chair <laughs> i'm just saying y'all like ho hoism Baptism is a whole entity where there are rules and regulations to how you hoe. So hoe safely, hoe with consideration for people's feelings. Because there was shit that they probably would try to do to me that I would never do to them just because I know niggas just can't hurt the same. Like, I know you can try to hurt me, I'm gonna get over it, you know, but you, and I know if I hurt you, you really gonna be hurting. That's why I don't hurt people like that. To be honest, what I learned about people who get played or who are players, people who, who are hoes, they're hurt ass people on the inside, on God. They're the most hurt people that I think I know. You're dead ass just looking for affection in places that you don't even know it, it exists. You know what I'm saying? But you just try, like every day they just roll the dice and just hope, like please like be the person to take me out of this loop. 
Like they all want to be saved, like including me. They all want to be saved at the end of the day. They want someone to really truly love them and take them away from their ways. It's possible. I'm not saying that it's everyone's tree to climb because some people really can't deal with being cheated on and shit. But it's possible to deep, dig deep enough, if you're connected to that person enough, dig deep enough into their heart and pull them out of those ways and saying this is wrong and you're doing this to fill fill a void. A lot of people with commitment issues have parent issues too, like their parents went together, they lost, they didn't have a father figure or a mother figure or not a good one. So half the time they're always looking at their other relationships because that's what happened to them growing up, so. <sighs> so like, yep, that's straight up, y'all. Like, that's what I fucking learned in my whole phase. That's why I felt like I'm always gonna have compassion for other people, no matter if I really don't want to. It's annoying, because I really don't like to feel other people's emotions for them or care sometimes, because people don't really care about my emotions all the time. So like, why the fuck do I always gotta care? I'm ashy. I don't care what other people think anymore because it's not high school and who's gonna judge me? Who's gonna talk about me? Go ahead. I don't, ooh, like you probably suck this dick, bitch. Who cares? We all been there. We all done it. We all had relationships. All right. Got weed in my mouth. Ew. Damn, I had hella weed in my mouth. But that was my smoke talk, y'all. So thanks for watching. I'm about to get into my makeup tutorial in my next video, so look at the link. Look at the link. Can you see the link? Click on the link. That was my relationship talk. I'm gonna be doing more talks like that. I appreciate y'all company. I fucking miss y'all like a motherfucker. Like, give me some love in the comments. How I'm well, I talked to you before. We, like, we exchanged comments and conversation before. Please say hi. I miss y'all. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. If I said anything that's relevant, anything that really hit home, or anything that you feel like you can take with you, or if I said anything that you want to question, like, really, you think that? Or really? I don't know. I'm curious. Let's talk. Okay. Comment down below. I'll be happy to talk to y'all. Oh, I'm lit. I'm lit. We lit. <laughs> so make sure y'all like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I love y'all bitches.